Hi, I'm Mitchell Shore, and I'm an artist, and I grew up in New York City. All my artwork revolves around the ideas of memories. Everything connects from my cars to my abstract pieces, as it's all about the connections people have with memories from the ice cream truck, which is an iconic memory of childhood. And I think everyone shares that memory of the excitement of getting an, an ice cream. And then I have pushed that series off into Cars, which also became The Race, which is my street art project, which is around the world. And some of you might have seen it on the streets. It's in Detroit, it's in Hong Kong, it was in Vermont. <laughs> Today I'm going to introduce you to a world-famous street artist remaking New York City one mural at a time. I would venture to say I have painted more square feet in New York City than any other artist ever. Last summer during the pandemic where I was painting over the plywood barricades that everyone put over their stores, I had done about 30 street blocks worth of panels. Another series I do about memories it's ideas of cereal boxes from the, from the 80s and 70s when I was a kid. And I think everyone has different cereal experiences where some people were allowed to have a sugared cereal where others weren't. And I realized people have the same memories around the world and same experiences, so I started painting those memories of my childhood one in sugar cereals. I can honestly say I'm fortunate enough to have my work shown in museums. And one of the places where my work is currently on permanent collection on display is in the Detroit Institute of the Arts. And I went to visit the painting in the museum where it's next to Frank Stella, which I'm completely honored by. And when I sat in the room, the security guard came over to me to tell me this is one of the highlights of the museum for when students come here. And people love this painting, it makes them so happy. And truthfully, all my work is about these happy memories and I wish to make people smile at the end of the day in some way because the world is so full of, of negative space that I want to create a space, whether it's on the street or in your home, that can bring back a memory of happiness. Besides memories, my paintings are about energy and, and excitement. I feel that when you look at my work, you should feel this motion and energy in all of them. So I feel so fortunate that New York Times photographer Bill Cunningham added me to his Sunday style section where he had a video piece accompanying it where he said that the artist behind these murals has influenced fashion more than anyone will realize. I'm not sure where I fit in. I think I'm a, uh, I'm on my own little spectrum, I think. <laughs>